Hello students, welcome to Smart Kids Tutorials. In this video, we will be plotting root 3 on the number line. We'll try to locate root 3 on the number line and we'll do this uh, using the protractor. So in a, a video that has been done before, we have uh, plotted root 3 or located root 3 on the number line uh, by using the compass only. So here uh, we will be using the protractor in order to uh, draw our uh, perpendiculars. So first, let's construct root 2. Okay. For that, we'll have to draw a line so i'm going to draw a line and once again i'm going to take uh, the measurements in inches so that it becomes easier for us uh, to construct and also it will uh, look a little bit uh, neat okay compared to you are free to take it in centimeters as well i'm just going to mark this over here this uh, mark this as zero one two make this bigger zero one two okay and remember root three the value of root three actually comes to something around 1.73 which means it has to be slightly uh, greater than 1.44 that we got for root two so let us construct root two first and then we'll move to root construction of root three so once again for root two we'll take this one unit and then we'll draw the perpendicular using our protractor and for that i'll keep the point over here on uh, one and i'll draw perpendicular because you have to draw perpendicular from one so over here this is our marking i'll draw a straight line now there we go And now uh, I'll just measure this distance that is one unit and I'll cut that, uh, cut an arc over here on this line to mark that as one unit as well. Okay, this you should know from our previous construction of root 2, how we need to. For those of you who do not know how to construct root 2 or uh, would like to revisit uh, how to construct root 2, uh, the link to that it will be you can find it in the district uh, description box below okay i'm just going to cut uh, one unit from this line and where the arc cuts the line that is where one unit will get there you go and mark this point intersection of the arc and the line and we'll join this uh, point to zero now this is root two okay now we don't have to mark root 2 on the number line we can continue forward because we are interested only in root 3 so what i'll do is uh, now just like how we drew a perpendicular here we have to draw a perpendicular to this particular line okay. and this is how we do it so we keep our protector this way and we'll use this point okay and we'll see where our 90 degrees comes which is somewhere over here I'll just mark this okay. and draw a line from this point to this point, joining this point. Here you are. Okay, so that is perpendicular to this line and not to this line. Okay, once we have done that, uh, we have to cut uh, one unit from this line, just like how we did for this. So I've got my measurement already for one unit. So all I have to do is keep the pointer here and cut one unit here this way so where this arc cuts this line i'll just mark this and i will join this point to this point there we go okay now this what we have got over here is actually root 3 and i'll show you how we get so first what we'll do is just like how we did previously for root 2 we'll give it some letters a e, then uh, let's see this is o okay and this is b and we'll mark this as c over here hmm? now we know from uh, our root 2 that this is root 2 okay this is 1 this is 1 and we have constructed this as 1 now the question is how is this um, root 3 so we know since we have constructed this 90 degrees this is 90 degrees we know and this also we have constructed as 90 degrees so by uh, pythagoras theorem 
we know that uh, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that's what we are going to do, which is the Pythagor uh, which is the hypotenuse, this one. It is the side that is opposite to the right angle. So that would be OC square equal to AC square plus uh, OA square. Now OC is what we need to find out. So we have been given AC. So AC is 1. So 1 whole square plus OA which is root 2. Remember we are not given OA square. We are given OA. So we just write OA in brackets raised to square. Now OC square will be equal to 1 whole square is 1 and root 2 whole square is 2. That gives us OC square equal to 3. Okay, And that implies that OC is equal to root 3 which means this is now root 3. So you understood how we get root 3 over here? Okay. Now, now that we know that this is for sure root 3, we need to measure this using our compass and I'll tell you what we'll do further then. Okay. Similar process to what we had done for uh, our root 2. Okay. So, let me show you over here. I'll just turn it around and I'll show you. There you go. So, I've taken the me measurement. Okay. So, let's see it this way. Okay, now that I have taken the measurement, all I need to do is with that same measurement, I keep uh, my pointer at this zero. Okay, okay, here like this. Okay, and I ensure that it is going through this point, and then I bring this uh, compass down here. See from here. Okay, I bring it down, and I ensure that I cut this number line like this. Okay. So just before 2, I have cut this number line and where this arc meets this line, that is your root 3 and we mark it this way. Okay. So if, if you notice over here, I, uh, we have uh, just got the root 3 before 2. Okay. So that tells you our construction is correct because as I told you, the value of root 3 comes to something around 1.73 approximately. We got this here. Okay. So this construction is done this way and similar to our root 2 in root 2 we measured this part and then we cut it over here in root 3 we draw an extra perpendicular join the uh, two uh, the perpendicular to the number line and then use that measurement from here to here to cut a new arc which we say should be root 3 now why is this root 3 once again i had explained uh, how we got root 2 when we did the root 2 video once again i'll explain to you See, when we draw, we using a compass over here means we are going to draw a circle, okay, with a compass, okay, all you will be drawing is a circle. Now, if that is how we draw a circle, then this thing that is OC should become our radius, okay, and all the radii of the circle are the same. And this arc goes and cuts here, which means this new point, which we can call over here. I can call that as B dash, okay, also become the radii. So OC should be equal to OB dash. Why? Because radii of the same circle, okay. And if OC is equal to OB dash, that means OB dash should be uh, equal to root 3 because OC we have got as root 3. How we have got OC as root 3? Using the Pythagoras theorem this way. Okay. So if you found this helpful uh, in understanding how to construct or locating root 3 on the number line, please uh, like this video, share it with your friends and classmates. Please subscribe to the channel and keep watching for more such videos. Thank you.